Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. As you know here, I spare no expense and no effort when it comes to testing products. And so when the ZMR250 frame, that's the Chinese multi-rotor frame came out, I bought a few, put them together, gave one to Barry, and I've been flying one myself to see how they work. And that they fly okay. Um, I've still got the review to do on that. I've got a bit more filming to do on the review before the second part of that review. But Barry has been testing to destruction. So I thought I'd show you just how these ZMR frames hold up when you fly them really hard. And the reality is that actually that they're surprisingly weak. And certainly in this area, just where the motor joins onto the frame that broke, uh, landing in soft dirt, as you can see, the motor's a bit caked in dirt. Um, it, he got a bit disoriented and fell out of the sky and broke the motor clean off. And of course that ripped the wires out of the motor. So one motor down, one arm down from, you know, okay, it was a fairly reasonable crash, but most of these multi-rotors survive these, these little mini quads survive the crashes really well. This didn't, and that would probably be my biggest gripe to date. It's uh, the arms are pretty thin and where the bolts go through, um, there's not a lot of meat. So if you're going to land on one corner, you're probably going to break an arm. And you might think, oh, well, the arms, you know, what is it? I've seen them advertise $9 for two arms. You think, oh, so $4.50. But then you've got a motor as well. And if you're using cheap motors, well, it's still, that's even still 12 bucks. So now you've suddenly gone up to, you know, $16.15. And then you've got the time to uh, change it all. And you've got all the broken props, but they'd be broken anyway. But you've got the time to actually sit down and repair the damn thing. So, yeah, if you're going to be flying hard, these frames, they're certainly not as robust as the Blackout, as the uh, MXP230, as the QAV250, as you'll see in some upcoming videos. So, yep, yeah, it's a, as I've said, you, generally you get what you pay for with stuff. Uh, certainly, you know, in this hobby, with a few exceptions, like Spectrum. <laughs> but um, in this case, yeah, you're getting what you pay for. It's a cheap frame, but it behaves like a cheap frame when you really stress it up. Um, you know, I've really smacked up my other quads really badly. Um, I tried to fly my blackout through a deer fence on the weekend and it wouldn't fit. Uh, broken props, that's all we had. Uh, but this frame, nah, it's a bit, got some weak areas, so be aware of that. And as I say, it's not just the cost of the broken frame, it's the bits that go with it, you know, wrecked motor. If you had some Tiger motors on here, God knows why you would, but if you had, you'd be $45 down the drain because the motor broke off, pulled the wires out. Simple as that. So there you go, I'm just sort of a pre-review update on the status of the ZMR250 frame. And you know, if you're going to buy one, be aware, they're not that strong. They really aren't in certain areas. So I'm going to repair this, give it back to Barry, see what he can do to it next. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, the full review, flight review of this is coming up very soon. I did some flying last weekend. I'll do some more flying this weekend, get the video together. Review should be up next week. And uh, thanks for watching. Questions, comments on the bottom. And in the meantime, Got to get back to the bench, fix up Barry's quad.